What's up guys, Justin here with thesketchpresentials.com back with another SketchUp extension tutorial for you. So this video, we're just gonna have some fun with an extension that allows you to quickly create townhouses and other city buildings within SketchUp. Before I get started, I wanna say a big thank you to my supporters on Patreon. Patreon, as you know, is the website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. One of the perks of uh, being, a, being a supporter of the show on Patreon is you get to vote on the extension that we cover every week. Now, in the interest of full disclosure, closure um, this week the extension that we voted on I couldn't quite get working so this was one of the other ones on the list and I thought it looked fun so I figured I'd go ahead and make the video but in any case if you're looking for a way to support the show make sure you check out that link in the notes down below now let's go ahead and just jump into it plug in name Inneroth townhouse system plug in developer Christina Inneroth plug in cost it's free where can you get it you can download it from the SketchUp extension warehouse. This is more of a fun extension for me, but it can also be useful for quickly adding building context into your SketchUp models. It's a building generation extension that allows you to quickly create townhouses and other city elements within SketchUp. The way it works is fairly simple. You click on the Add Building button, and then you select an option from the list of buildings. It's not a huge list right now, and I have no idea if the intention is to grow this list in the future or not. So I'm just kind of enjoying it for what it is for right now. So the way that it works is you just select a building, and then you set points, and then you hit the Enter key. And what this will do is this will actually come in here and it'll generate a building for you within SketchUp. So you can see how this building comes in, and I probably need to move it over a little bit, but this actually generates a whole building with actual window details and different materials and everything else like that. So one of the nice things about this is you're not just limited to straight buildings. You can also create buildings that go around corners um, or other things like that as well. So for example, if I wanted a building that went around this corner, I would just click three times instead of twice and then I'd hit the enter key. So you can see how generating that building was really easy. And one of the other things you can do when you're doing this is if you go around an edge, like this one, once you've set your points, your angles are actually adjustable, as are those points. So you can actually move these around once you've done that. So you can adjust how your building ends up on the ends as well. So if I hit the enter key, it'll generate this building. And depending on the length of your building, this can take a little bit of time because it's actually going in and creating your building and then cutting all of those openings, I believe. That's what it says down here in the corner. All right, and as you can see, that building took a little while to create, but you can see how these corners are actually getting cut off based on those angles that we set by dragging those grips. And so one of the other cool functions or features of this extension is you can also come in here and you can adjust the different buildings. So you can do that by clicking on the building and then within the in, or the Inneroth Townhouse system, click on this uh, third option for building properties. What that allows you to do is that allows you to adjust the different materials inside this model. So say for example that you wanted to swap out not only your materials but other things as well. Like let's say for example we wanted to swap out the brick rough dark material, what we would do is we would make that the active material and then uh, find the area or the material that we'd like to replace and we can just click the button for apply active. And what that'll do, if we click apply, is that'll actually let you reapply that material to the end. And so you can do the same thing with like this end material, you can adjust that to be that brick as well. So you can do a lot of different things with swapping out materials really quickly. You can make this a light roof instead of a dark roof. The other thing I like about this is it also allows you to swap out different building types. So for example, if I was to go up to the browse settings, and let's say I didn't want this to be quite so apartment looking, I could click on this this option right here and click OK, and then we could click Apply. And what that's going to do is that's going to come in here and that's going to redraw this building with this new building type. So you can see how this swapped out this building with that different type. And one thing you may want to do when you're working with this is you may want to go down and you may want to uncheck the box for perform solid operations. So I'm, I'm not 100% sure what that's doing because this building isn't in here as a solid. But if you uncheck that box and then do this, this building swaps out a lot faster. So I'm not sure exactly why it's doing that or what that's causing, but it is good to know that you can swap out your buildings a lot quicker. I think it's because if you look, 
these windows actually aren't cutting holes in the walls if you don't do the solid operation. So that can be a time saver, especially if you're looking to do stuff from like way out like this. You don't necessarily need those to all be in there as different openings. So the other thing about these buildings too is you can also add things like balconies to different sides by checking these boxes and other pieces as well. And uh, there's other options for each one of these too, so you can kind of customize these buildings a little bit more if you want to. So you can see how that actually came in here and that generated balconies on this building. And so if you wanted to, you could go in and basically add that for all of these different windows. And you can see how adding things like balconies can get pretty easy as well just by checking those boxes. So in addition to the regular building options, there's also a number of options down here for different like building shells. So let's say for example that you just wanted to build kind of a context model. You can build these white building shells really quickly um, based on your map data. So you can see how that builds those in really quickly and you can use this in order to populate a context map with different models. So that's something I really like. I don't know that there's a whole lot of options you can adjust in here, um, but you can kind of swap these out for, if you just wanted them to be square, you could do that. Um, you can do a lot of different things with that as well. And then once you've made changes, I believe you can save your building settings um, using the save template options. So you can definitely save these. I've not found a Way where you can really like truly mix and match everything in here but I really do think this is a fun extension that allows you to do a lot of different things so that's where I'm gonna end this video leave a comment below let me know what you thought is this at least something you could see yourself playing around with I really thought it was a fun extension but I'd love to hear what you think as well if you like this video please remember to click that like button down below if you're new around here remember to click that subscribe button for new sketchup content every week if you like what I'm doing on this channel please consider supporting me on patreon every little bit helps even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.